now sticking on the subject of professionalism but segueing into the battle rap media i'm going to stick on ultimate madness for just a second and um we're going to touch on on the subject of caping for for, for twerk um after the um after his poor performance um there was a lot of talk about people sort of trying to justify twerk performance or or, or playing down um swamp's victory and i think that's a little to be expected um twerk i think i've made a few comments on on twitter i've got into a back and forth about this twerk is a titan in this game and when the mighty fall it makes a big fucking sound and a lot of people talk about it um regardless of the performance of the opponent a titan fucked up and that's a big thing and people are going to talk about it and it doesn't take away from the performance that that swamp put on and he went there and he won he he you know he he beat twerk fair and square clearly you know i gave him every round i, I 3-0 however a lot of people are going to talk about the fact that twerk yet again went there and and didn't perform that's just a reality it doesn't mean that people are shitting on on twerk because they're talking about and some, well to be fair some are some are just sort of piling on hate and it's not critique it's hate and there's a big distinction that the battle rap and and just the internet generally doesn't seem to understand between critique and hate hate is baseless hate is just when you're you know getting at someone or something just for the sake of it when you're critiquing you're saying you're giving reasons you, you you have a valid opinion you're you're consuming somebody's product and you're giving your opinion of it that's absolutely fair and you know is fair game when you put yourself out there hate is something different you know that's trolling that's that's just you know when you you're just downplaying something without any basis and um also something i saw in this whole twerk aftermath which i really didn't like and, and in fact i'm gonna have to get my cape for this um and i don't i don't have a cape but um i've got this this badass fur that is gonna have to substitute for my cape but yeah i'm gonna have to cape for my guy di the henny man right now i'm not happy i'm not happy at the backlash the unwarranted completely unwarranted backlash that my guy has faced in um in in hosting the uh, the, the the ultimate madness semi-finals now um he and jay black obviously big players in in the scene now jay black and di the henny man have got this hosting gig with url and caffeine because they're fucking good at what they do they're great bloggers they're entertaining they're kind of two sides of a battle rap coin um they've got different approaches and the culture love them and respect them and they're not afraid to say their un unfiltered opinions at the same time they're not haters they're not there are lots of battle rap platforms who will who will come out and just you know shit on a battle and sometimes it's warranted sometimes it's not but that's what they do now i don't think either champion or battle rap trap are those sort of platforms they give what's called critique um they are fair and even-handed um However, they also have relationships, and I think particularly with Di the Henny Man, he has come out and talked about. You know, there's, I watch. I'm I'm a trapper. You know, salute trappers, battle rap trap shit. We got the streets. Like I, I sit and I watch that shit, and I've watched Di the Henny Man many a time say, "That's my guy. That's my dude." Like, yeah, I've got some bias here. However, he will still, if he thinks that his guy, his dude 
is not going to win, he will say that. If he thinks his guy, his dude didn't perform, he will say that. But he will also state his bias on his blog, on his platform, his blog, a blog which is an individual deciding to get up and share their opinion with the world, with the internet, with the culture. Like it's not, you know, it's not, it's not CNN. This is one individual's choice. We are all free to get up there and share our opinion. Um, however, when you're hosting, D.I.D. Hennyman, Jay Black, Yes, they are of Champion and of Battle Rap Trap, but they are there hosting an event for Kathy. They are employed to do a job, not as bloggers, but as hosts, to get through the night, to host the battles, to entertain the crowd, to, 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 to stall when they needed to, to fill in, to to go up there and do a job which is not the same as when they go and blog. I don't know why people can't understand this. They were there that night to host an event and to expect them, yes, we expect them to have integrity and to be true to themselves and to the culture and to the sport. However, they are there as a primary obligation to deliver an event and to host. And to expect them to perform in the same way that they would do if they were delivering a blog. Like, that's fucking stupid. That's stupid. You know, to, to, to this is why I've got my cape on. To, to come at Hennyman and suggest that when he asked Jay Black um, for some swag bars, because there were a few, he said, you know, give me some quotes give me some swamp quotables because there were a few, you know, to suggest that that is him pulling for twerk, that is him trying to play down swamp's performance, that is him saying that there were no quotables, give me a quotable, like that's fucking ridiculous, it's, it's stupid and he's there, they're there trying to fill in, there's all of these things going on behind the scenes, there's all of these things happening and Penny man, I guess he's looking at Jay thinking, I bet you've remembered some quotables. I quite, I, I haven't, but I bet you have. And when he realises Jay hasn't and he hasn't got any, you know, he goes to the, he, he, he asks the fans, but the, hey, I saw coming his way was completely unwarranted. And yeah, I had to, I had to get my cape on and explain to, yeah, let me, can you see my cape is on and I'm getting real up close hosting is different from blogging when you are a host you are employed to host an event and that's what they did and if you don't like it I'm sorry <laughs>